Okay, let's see if I can explain this to you guys. So, um, what was given is that this angle is congruent to that angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle, and we know that this line is parallel to this line. Well, if that's true, if these lines are parallel, then if you think about this transversal, this angle must be congruent to these angles. Well, if that's true, if we look at this kind of triangle right here, we've got two angles being congruent, which means that uh, EC must be congruent to CY. Similarly, uh, if we look at this transversal, we know that angle AZB must be congruent to angle DEB. So in this triangle, these lines must be congruent. So we also know that um, ED is congruent to DZ. And it's important to remember what we're looking for. So what we want to show is that um, this length minus this length equals this length. And we're almost there. We know that, let's see, we know that DZ equals ED, but ED is just composed of EC plus CD, but we also know that EC, we show that that is congruent to CY. So ED equals CY plus CD. And now it's just about rearranging. So we can say that E D minus C Y equals C D. And then I think we just need to substitute. So we know that E D is the same as D Z. So we have D Z minus C Y equals C D. I think that's what we're trying to show.